What's up guys, I'm Shane. Welcome to season four of our North Texas Dynasty. This week we're playing essentially what I'm calling a tune-up game against SMU because I feel like we've just gone past where our rivals are and SMU I think is the best out of what we got between them, Mid-Tennessee, and Arkansas State. All right, now I just want to take a look at the recruiting board. Obviously I did it off camera, so we'll go through it a little bit here. We've got Maurice Williams here at the top of my board. I don't know why he's the one at the top. I want Tremblay down there at the top of my board, but he's pretty good overall. 92 speed, 87 excel. You know, real good. Looks like a cornerback for sure 94 man coverage 82 zone this guy's a long shot we're in seventh place behind notre dame we weren't even on his board but i threw him on because he looks so good but here's the one and again we're probably not getting him the only advantage we have is that alabama has a new head coach so maybe we can catch bama i'm not sure about auburn or anyone else competing but marcus trembley 98 speed 95 excel 92 agility all of his defensive stats are incredible but he's got 93 elusiveness, 92 spin, 95 juke, 80 carry. Good freaking God. He's only got a 75 ball carrier vision. But otherwise, if we can get our hands on this, like this outstanding recruit, maybe one of the best I've ever seen with 70 catching to go with it. I don't care who my running back is. This guy's starting. Obviously, you know, I got to get my offensive lineman in here. We're going to take your points away for a second. We're going to go for some insta commits. We got Lay Ball, we got Jamar Carroll, who we are not in the lead for, but I think we might be able to catch up on. I meant to have you max out with points. That's what it was. We've got Kyle Wilson, a 79 overall wide receiver. We don't need one, but 93 speed, 92 excel. We could, we again, have all athletes playing at wide receiver, so we could use someone with some better catching skills. We got Will Hill here, who I believe, were you a gem? Yeah, he was a gem. So he's a 79 overall defensive tackle. We don't need him necessarily. We don't need a lot of these players, but I'm going to take the shot at him. Again, five-star quarterback. We're number one on his rankings right now. So, yeah, I'll gladly put you on my board. Casey is a junior, but he's a 76 overall tight end. So I'll bring him in for a couple years to sort of be the backup. Uh, you know, can't help to have more talent over there. But what I'm hoping right now is we're going to go for some insta commits. So let's see if we can get anybody. Okay, so ball, can we get you? Yes, we can. 76 overall guard signed right there. David Mays, we don't need a quarterback. We especially don't need a pocket passer quarterback, but five-star prospect who wants to come here. I'll throw an instant commit at him if I can. Nah, he didn't sign. Yeah, we'll still throw him some points. And then we'll throw some points here at James Blount. Nah, he didn't sign either. We have nobody on the Heisman watch, but I'd say we have a couple of All-Americans. Obviously, Donald Smith, you have to make it. When you have, what, 2,100 yards last season? He has to be a first-team All-American. Jimmy Walker making it a defensive tackle. Don't worry. I mean, he's probably not going to get actually drafted out of here, but he'll find his way out of the Voyagers draft class. There's no doubt about that. Edward Bautista making it. I'm glad I still have him starting at least one more year. Again, Deshaun Gaddy just on reputation alone. 88 overall senior now. Again, we've come almost 20 overall points up since he was a freshman. We've also got Leandre Davis and Roy Abrams, our safety duo back there. And of course, Zach Weber at kick, or at, yeah, just returner, general returner. We've got nobody on the second team. And if we go all Big 12 conference, again, Smith, Walker, Bautista, Gaddy. We've got Davis, Abrams, and Bracken. And we've got Weber. Second team, there's Alberting. Phil Meadows is on there. Gabriel Murphy in his senior season as well. Cardwell, redshirt junior. I don't think he's going to come out after this year. So we are getting some recognition from the national media. Now, hopefully that translates into some wins this year. Obviously, I set us up with a little more difficult of a schedule. A-plus uh, ranking on the schedule. And we got Fresno State, who's a 99 overall across-the-board team. I don't remember what week, but we're going to be playing them, so that's going to be rough. But no use looking past that. It doesn't matter if I can't get by playing SMU here. You know what? We're going to receive. I usually kick, but we're going to receive. I want to mess around with this. Oh, good cut by Weber. Getting up field. All right, Scott Hardy, welcome back. Fresh off the red shirt. Oh, my God. Oh, that's that's what I've been missing. 
All right, but screw all that noise. We got a brand new quarterback we got to be showing off. Let's go, Emil. Beautiful pass to Donald Smith. Nope. Hardy in for the touchdown. Wow, just bang, 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 huh? Oh, this is going to be a good year. As long as I don't screw it up. Now, according to the championship contenders that I was looking at before, right now we're number 26 or whatever. So we'll get back into 25 without too much difficulty. But going forward, I think we're like 26 and we're 11 next year. And then we're going to go number two and number one overall. Like we're projected in that final season to be the number one overall team in the country. That's a heck of a recruiting class. Oh, never mind. They tried to go for the option play. You can't do that on us anymore. We still got Dotson over there. Uh, I did mix it up a little bit. So this year it'll be Cardwell returning punts instead of Weber. Now, obviously Weber still did amazingly on it, but Cardwell's a little faster, but also is obviously our uh, number two. Yeah, I put you at number two for cornerback still. So in case I have to audible into a defensive play, I have someone who can actually play defense. Plus, uh, again, he's not bad. Every time I put Shaw out here or someone, uh, someone slow, they would give me the read option all the time. Now I have a mobile quarterback. They weren't giving it to me. Okay, I know I made a bad read, but I just wanted to see him run the ball. I got a feeling there won't be a lot of designed runs. It'll be a lot of scrambling out of the pocket. Oh, Peter Smith with his first catch. And this might go all the way back. Yeah, there he goes. Fights off one tackler. In for a touchdown. <laughs> Oh, man. There was... Why is he down? Oh, he's glitched out over there. Donald Smith going to check on his brother. Thank you! <laughs> Jesus, Cardwell. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. We're two and a half minutes into this game. We're up 21 to nothing if we get this extra point. Holy... I couldn't have time to react to that one. I just assumed it was a completion. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I was redshirting everyone. I'm not going to get too cocky. It is just SMU. They're a really good program for the American Conference. And I would love them to continue to get good. But, uh... Um, Thank you! Oh. Oh, my God. He got, he got that? Abrams caught that. Are you serious? I can't. I feel like they're going to review that. They're not. Did I, did I change it? Did I put this on rookie or a uh, freshman on accident? <laughs> did I mess it up? Nope, still on Heisman. What the heck? Oh my God, it's not gonna be this easy going forward. We're like, we're still in the big 12. Texas is 99s across the board this year. Who knows what Oklahoma looks like? Would it be rude to start chewing the clock halfway through the first quarter? Cause I'm tempted. Oh, don't creep up. Oh my god, they did it. Oh, they read that one perfectly. Wasn't okay. Did anyone just see that? I don't know if I have enough room for four verts to work. I do. Scott Hardy in with a second receiving touchdown. Why do I have you at running back if you're going to keep catching everything, bud? Oh, the, they got that barely out. It's alright, we're not going to completely shut them down. They are an 88 overall offense. Like, they're not bad. And a good force out. Cardwell. Oh, man, it's so nice that he's coming back next year. Like, it really does make me regret not redshirting Gaddy already. Nah, their kicker looks like he's good. All right, no shutout today. Oh, Harris is wide nope. open. Making that catch count. All right, well, considering almost everyone in the offensive line came back and the only trade-off we had was that our, uh, our right guard, who I just saw pull and pick up a block, Serafino's the newcomer after Moe's graduated. And I think he's the same, if not a better overall, than Moe's was anyways. Ooh, I kind of like Harris over there. Throw it up. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Harris is not as fast 
as Donald Smith is, but he still had that one step, and that's all he needed. And Hardy just in again. Oh my god, we are unstoppable today. We've like we've I can count the number of negative or zero yard plays on one hand that we've had at the end of the first quarter, and we're up 35 nothing if we get this. I was supposed to switch over to the tight end. Dang it. Motion always throws me off. Oh, thank God he dropped that. That was a blown coverage. Uh, it wasn't a blown coverage. That was just finding that gap. That is finally the end of the first quarter. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dotson. We still don't have a sack, to be fair. I haven't even made adjustments today. Like, we're still just playing balanced on everything. I'm just going to take off. There we go. Oh. I double tapped, but I was too close to a defender, so we just dove. Didn't quite get it. You know, we're going to run a hurry up. There's no reason to not go aggressive. I got to see if these halfback dives are still reliable. Oh, are they ever. And Donald Smith open. Come on, bud. Get your touchdown. There we go. There was nobody even near me. I just sat there and waited. That was supposed to be like a quick slant, I think. And I got to wait for him to go all the way across the field, and there was still nobody. I feel like they've already decided they're going to score on this one. So let's see if we can make it interesting. Yeah, we can. Finally a sack. Welcome back, Davis. All right, they picked up 11, but it was third and 18, so good for you. Hardy dusted him. Oh, my God. Is that what we're going to have going now? All right, so Eric Emil, good first half so far. Unfortunately, it looks like Hardy might find his way into the Heisman watch after this one. Four total touchdowns now? Of course, now my question remains... Was it a mistake to go for Chew Clock? Could we have put up 100 on them had we left it as it was? But more importantly... Oh, there's a the sack. They're taking a timeout. Good job, Meadows. Are you guys excited to see Austin on come back in the game? Because I don't want to get Emil injured. Come on, Cardwell. Show him why I put you in here. Incredible return. Inside the red zone. And again, you're letting Smith get open. Steps out of bounds, though, like the two or whatever. Oof. Okay. So I want to try fullback dive, but that's scary. But I'm going to do it anyways. Yeah, even the fullback getting in for a touchdown. Although I'm going to regret that. I, I, now I kind of wish I had given it to Hardy or done a read option or something. So I've told you guys this, I believe, in the past. Like in probably the first or second episode of the series. So anyone who's sort of newer to it didn't go all the way back and watch. Um, I used to play exclusively on rookie, freshman, whatever, the easiest difficulty on these games. I was more interested in not necessarily the recruiting in this game. I kind of always just got lucky. I wanted to more develop the guys who I actually got. But, like, drafting and stuff in Madden. Like, I was more worried about the franchise side of it and developing a program than actually playing the game. And in all my years playing on freshman, I have never done this to a team in a first half. Like... I have had 90 overall teams going against scrubs and didn't do this to them on freshman, on rookie. Doesn't matter. Put that perfectly inside. Let's go. Because we needed the field goal. We're going into halftime up 59-3. to I hope you're impressed with the new guys because they're about to hit the bench. How many runs have they attempted today? Because I feel like it's two. All right, so I went through, I benched Emil, I benched Hardy, and I benched Donald Smith. So we're going to see. I think uh, Hardy could still come out if I run one of those two halfback sets. But here's Austin on. Let's see how quick before he throws a pick. That quickly. Okay. I forced that one a little. I just wanted to get Simpson a catch. But yeah, that's... There's a big difference between playing with on and playing with Emil. Oh, man, I'm going to feel bad for whatever team drafts on next season. Ooh, not bad. No one was covering that guy. 
Oh, they got over the first. Here's the thing. Like, if they score here, even if they get a touchdown, it's not that it looks bad on us. It's sort of the same thing as, like, people who don't understand defense in the NBA. People who think that the Warriors do never played a good defense while they were part of that dynasty. It's like, no, guys. When you're scoring 140 points, the opponent is usually going to score 120, but you still scored more points than them. We have put up 59 points now. They've only put up three. So even if we're like, we're never going to get a 75 to nothing touchdown, unless maybe we're playing like an FCS school, but we're not going to do that. But the fact that we're up 59 to three, it, the fact that we've only held them to three is incredible. 59 to like 30 would be an amazing blowout right now. And it's 59 to three. Oh, oh man, Meadows almost got the pick. <laughs> I'm like, how did you drop? Oh, because you're a defensive lineman who dropped in the coverage. That's how. Okay, so I did bench on for Shaw. It is not anything to do with on throwing a pick. That was me forcing the pass. It is everything to do with me worrying about the playing time for Kevin Shaw. Like, if I can get him in here and get some reps, get him to throw the ball a couple of times and make him feel like he's part of the team, maybe he won't try and transfer after this year. And if he doesn't transfer after this year, he's not going to transfer at all, and I don't have to worry about him. Got him. Oh, my God. Peter Smith, you are ridiculous. I mean, I threw that way too soon, and it worked out. It slipped off that dude, just kept going. Oh, my God. Ward is wide open. Please don't drop it. Thank you. I have run that play three times. Once I hit Donald Smith. The first time was obviously that big touchdown to Peter Smith. And then this time to Ward on the exact same route that Peter Smith ran. And he almost, it was almost exactly the same. He just couldn't slip off that one guy. All right, I'm not going to lie. I'm just doing some stat padding for Hardy here. Okay, he can go back out. <laughs> if I'm not going to get any yards anyways, might as well get him another touchdown. Oh, I went for the pick. Not gonna lie. That was easy for me to break up, and I just, I wanted the pick. They even, oh my god, they benched our freaking punt returner? They put Ward back there? That is incredible. Now I gotta double check the depth chart in the offense when we come out here. Because I already benched my guys. Yep. On is in, Hardy's in. Donald Smith is back in. Yeah, because I already benched them. Alright, I'll fix that in a second. Yeah. Had we not gone two clock and started benching starters, we definitely could have put up 100 on them. And Donald Smith is completely wide open, so... Worth taking that one last deep shot to him. 49 yards. Okay, and then because I revised the depth chart, now it just went back to the default. I hate this. Whatever, Donald Smith for a touchdown. Thank you! Oh my god, there's Batista's pick. Go on, run that in. We're still going for 100. Screw it. Oh my god. This is going to be so miserable for me to edit. You guys don't understand. But I don't care. And Gatewood just killing the screens. Thank you! And Gaddy getting his pick too. Everyone getting the pick. I'm pretty sure SMU has a brand new head coach this year. I wonder if he can get fired after one game. Still want to get Simpson involved. There we go. Ah, uh, that was inaccurate. And he... I don't know how that worked. I want to challenge that because I feel like it wasn't a touchdown. How? Oh my god, how? They're going to review that, but good god. They didn't review it. Can we get two more touchdowns? We're running the same coverage, I think, every single play. But I think they're just... Thank you! Okay, never mind. Roden's getting the interception, too. So why not just run man... Uh, what is that? Cover two, I think I ran every single play? Or man two under or whatever? I thought they were just like, Oh, well, you know, let's go for out routes and keep... Just Let's get first down so we can run the clock. So maybe they don't put 100 on us. Donald Smith getting in there again. I should probably run the ball a couple times, but 
I'm just having way too much fun throwing the ball around. And on top of that, Hardy has done more than enough today. I'm not worried about him. Another 50-yarder for Bracken, at least. Who else needs a pick? Davis needs a pick today. Thank you! Oh! Asking you shall receive. I didn't realize you were just making requests. Murphy needs one, too. Okay, I... Guys, I can't. I'm literally... I just... I can't... I can't not. A shallow single high safety? Oh, my God. I had my choice between receivers. And he didn't get in the end zone. Alright, I'm still not comfortable enough running the read option. I feel like this might be a mistake. And, you know, again, I was trying to get the quarterback to get the touchdown. I have no complaints whatsoever about this game. You really can't when you win 90-6. to So, ready for some obnoxious final stats of the day? Kevin Shaw, 2 of 3 for 79 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Eric Emile, in his debut, 17 of 26, 430 yards, 6 touchdowns, no picks. 65% completion percentage. We were taking deep shots, not like we were just taking underneath. And Austin on 3 of 5, no touchdowns, and the 1 pick. Did have 70 yards. On the rushing side, Hardy with 84 yards and 3 touchdowns, only on 12 attempts. Emile had 14 total yards, so... Nothing there, but like I said, I'm pretty sure I need to learn how to do the read options, and I think he's just going to be better off scrambling out of the pocket as opposed to just running. Little only had one yard on the ground, and Mitchell had the one for a touchdown at least. Receiving end, Donald Smith managed to finish with eight catches for 198 yards, two touchdowns. Scott Hardy with four catches for 103 yards and two touchdowns, and Peter Smith with three catches for 103 and a touchdown. Harris had two for 54, Alberting had one for 19, Simpson had one for 40 and a touchdown. I still don't know how he made that catch. Weber had one for 12, Ward had one for 41, and Little had one for nine. Davis led the team with nine tackles, Morris had seven, Gaddy with five, everyone else threes and twos across the board. We had no assisted tackles as a team, everyone just wrapped them up as soon as they got there. Gatewood and Dotson both with three TFLs apiece, Davis, Murphy, Meadows, Morris, and Bautista all with one. Meadows, Murphy, Dotson, and Davis all get a uh, sack, holy cow. Abrams, Gaddy, Roden, Bautista, Davis, and Cardwell all with a pick, including Bautista and Cardwell both getting pick sixes. Bracken with two field goals, both of them from at least 50. Weber had three returns for 86 yards, the big one was a 46-yarder to start, and Cardwell had five returns for 107 yards on punt duty. I mean, guys, I didn't schedule an FCS team at least, you gotta give me props for that. SMU looked like a legitimate contender. Like, I didn't... I was just kind of hoping for like a 20 point victory, 15, 20, like something like that. Just easing our way in. And instead we got this. So, hooray. Next week we've got the team ranked number 19 right now in Buffalo. So at least they should give us more of a challenge. Like I said, I wanted to schedule some difficult opponents, but I also wanted to, I was talking about Buffalo at the beginning of the series because they had all those broken freshmen. And then I found out Fresno State is even more broken freshmen. This is their last hurrah, so I wanted to at least play them. I thought for sure I'd play Buffalo in a title game at one point. So instead, we're going to meet up with them in the regular season here. I'm not confident in our ability to beat Fresno, but I know that it's just a one-time thing. It's the only year we have to go through that hurdle. And after that, smooth sailing. A lot of these guys are going to start getting factored out. Now we're going to the actual recruits. So hopefully you don't see Texas with 17 linebackers who are going to be drafted in like the second round of the NFL draft. But... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. If you would like to name any of the incoming recruits, we've already got a couple Insta commits now. We're sure we're going to be adding to that. Leave all that down in the comment section below. You'll probably get red shirted because that's just what I do. But as you see, when you come back, you're going to be a monster. Just look at Peter Smith. Good job, buddy. Everything you leave in the comment section, I will always reply to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.